Pode cantar, ó. Different than Q's office right off the back, right? So that uh, I like this. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. You know, we got the dollars, got the little monies over there. That's right. That's right. Like, I like real. that. I like that. The, the vibes. You got the sage. You got your spiritual dude. You already I'm, I'm know on that too. You know. You I have to. to. You have to. That's that's, a, that's really the cheat code. I've been telling. I've been preaching this cheat the whole time. That's what you got to do. Look at that. What are we talking about? Look at that. Oh, this is that. Mindset is everything. Like it's a yes, fish bait with a shark fin on them. You know what <laughs> Yeah, man, this is it right here, bro. This is my boy Dom over there. Dom? Look like it's a lot. Dom and Jose. Wait, what are y'all doing? Uh, Positions? What's going on, bro? How you doing? I'm good, I'm not happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your name? What are y'all doing? Positions? Hey, yeah, I'm going to meet you. Yeah, I'm going to like the shirt, Just man. Just want to see it fresh. Oh, I appreciate it, oh. bro. Thanks, man. What's clean? No, man, I have, to, I, have to, I have to come right when I come in this thing. I don't know how to come here often. Okay, okay. <laughs> So these are acquisitions right here? Yeah, this is for your acquisition. Uh, this is acquisition like floor, this is dispo floor. Uh, dispo floor, right? Yeah, uh, so we got it in the kitchen right now, but yeah. Mm -hmm. The floor's looking nice. <laughs> the floor's we just looking nice. Up one, we just locked up one other property right now, boy Dom. Oh, yeah? Dom a killer, bro, so. So uh, out of all these deals, how many are multi? Three. Three multi-families. Yes, three multi-families, the rest of it's land, bro. The rest of it's land? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. The rest, the rest of it is just land and houses. This isn't even, isn't even the full board. Man, this okay. Is all, this combined with this, yeah, bro. Yeah, Got okay. a lot of boards everywhere. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. Bro, I have boards for everything, so right. I we, we track everything. So, you know, I got boards for acquisitions. Like, like I, I make it. I try to make it like a, like a sport. Right. Like them competing against each other. Real, so everybody has their numbers. So I have an acquisition board right in the acquisition room. Has all their names, how many deals they got, what's their volume. Nice. So they're always competing, That's right? Awesome. Like right next to each other. Right. And then whoever wins, I always give them something like we'll go to like a steakhouse or <laughs> I give them like something, you know, like for winning. And same for uh, dispositions. I have a board and it has uh, it has how many sales they have, and I do dispos different. So I, every, if you get on my list. And we only do San Antonio, so I could do this differently. Right. You have to come to the office first wow. and meet us. Yeah. Really? Because I got to know that you're not a wholesaler. And, dude, it, it totally, like, it makes... Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. When it comes to buyers, like, outside of the city, outside of the actual, um, you know... Um, outside of Houston, right? Yeah. We literally pull a list for that specific zip code uh -huh. for people that, like, let's say I'm selling some land. Like, for instance, I mean... Um, this one this assignment i mean this one just came out today this one came from a, what's it called a guy that literally owned the property next door from us uh-huh oh and yeah. he bought in the past two years so on list source you're able to literally like if you're looking for a land buyer yeah vacant land people that have bought in the past two years and we literally skip trace that list yeah. and send a massive text blast to that thing. Damn, that's yeah. bold right there. And, um, and as soon as those texts come in, you know. You saw that thing quick. You saw that thing like that, dude. Yeah. And it's straight, it's straight, straight to the buyer marketing, you know? Yeah, man. So well, how, how old were you when you started, bro? 18. You were 18 years old? I was 18 years old when I started. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I was 18. Um, I I just graduated high school and um, I got I got my first deal like two weeks after. And um, after that, I didn't get a deal for another nine months. And so it took, wait, it took you how long? It took me eight months to get the first deal. It eight me, months? It took me nine I'm months. Grinded. Like, yeah. And then nine months for the second deal. For the second deal. You see, look, don't quit, right? For sure. Because I don't think many people would be able to have that type of persistence and dedication and commitment. That's a lot of pain, right? That's a lot of, it is. That's a lot of like, like sitting in the car like, fuck, right? Yeah, like, like I, don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. And... I went through that too, like, see that, that's even, like, bro, when I was 18, bro, I was a dummy, like, I didn't even start my first business until I was 23. Now, how old are you right now? 24. It's 24. 
We've, we've closed a, a few hundred thousand dollar months. I think our biggest month so far was like 170,000. Yeah, 170 G's. 170,000 in one month, all right? And it that was on apartment buildings, you know? That's like one deal. That, yeah. That, that thing will put you like yeah. to the moon. But regardless, right? It happened. 100%. And, and, and that would have never happened if you didn't wait eight months to get a deal. And then another nine months, like, no, I'm, it's hard, bro. Like, yeah. people would have gave up. Like, well, I'm not going to wait eight months to make 20 grand. Like, you know, all this <laughs> suffering, right? Exactly. So that just goes to show that's gold, bro. That's important. Yeah, bro. That's super important. Yeah. You know? So how, how did you even, like, what? how did you hear about wholesaling? How did you get into it? Like, how did you hear about it? Well, what's it called? Um, Sean Terry, he showed me a check for 10,000 bucks on YouTube. Oh. And if I, I wouldn't have seen that $10,000 check, I probably wouldn't be doing this, man. Mm -hmm. And this is why, you know, a lot of people, they talk to me, man, you posted checks, this and that. But honestly, you never know, man. You never know who you're going to inspire, mm -hmm. you know? And now to this day, like, I've helped a crazy amount of people uh, close deals. So so you saw a Sean Terry ad on YouTube or a, or a vlog or whatever? Yeah. And uh, he was talking about making all this money and has that crazy, loud, energetic voice. Got you inspired or got you intrigued, right? Uh, 100%. Got you, yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. That, that thing, what, that, that right there, man, um, it sparked something in my mind. Like, God, I didn't know, like, you could actually make a $10,000 check like that. Because I was working, I think I was working as a busboy at that time. I was, like, you know, making my 200 two, two, $300 a week. Yeah. Busting tables and whatnot. So, yeah. you know, you, give, you, you show a $10,000 five-figure check to somebody that came from nothing I mean, uh, you know that's that it, it it sparks a light bulb in your head right honestly and and that light bulb that that what's it called that hunger never left and never left to this day dude you you're know, like i'm gonna make it happen yeah, no I'm matter gonna, what and even to this day bro like i'm still fucking i, I need it like you know yeah. i have a i have a crazy sense of urgency you yeah know? regardless of how much money i make right. regardless how many deals i have right. i still i'm still uh -huh. i still gotta get it bro. there's always something more there's always the next level to get there's man. always the next level oh, this thing for 130 um at the time arv was like 200 arv was like 200,000. we got to put in like 30 but now like last week we got a new comp a few new comps oh, so yeah. arv went up to like 220 on this one damn yeah dude in two months huh in two months in two months in two, well there's a few comps you know yeah. i got a there's not one comp but there's a few comps that sold above what i you know what i originally expected it to be to be worth so now we're gonna list this thing for like twenty thousand, twenty five thousand dollars higher. So when you're buying houses, what's the difference? Like, when do you decide to wholesale it, or when do you decide decide to buy it and flip it? I guess if um, the, spreads, the spreads, you know, you gotta now. I guess now that I've been that I've been doing this, I've been in this business. Um, you know, if it makes sense, if if we're only gonna make fifteen thousand dollars wholesaling it, it's probably not. Is you know, and the rehab is is you know, más o menos. It's good and uh, it's in the area. And we're making, you know, if we can make 40000 flipping it, man, I'd rather just flip it now, man. It's really, honestly, it's more like uh, putting money away because instead of just having this money just sit in the bank account, boom, put it towards a house and, um, and you know, keep man. it secured, man. Keep it, you know. Almost make, triple your investment. Yeah, bro. Triple the money. Exactly, man. Like, my goal, honestly, is, you know, buy and fix a, and flip a whole bunch of houses over here, then take this and bring it to Florida so I could go ahead and, you know, put my uncles on. Mm -hmm. tell, tell Theo, hey Theo, man, I got a house, bro. Yeah. Let me know, let me know how much you wanna. You what know. do you mean, like you're trying to move your operation over there? Or you're just... I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna start buying and fixing houses over, over there, there too. Just but so just, I could do that yeah. part right there, like you said, you yeah. know, bring in your father, bring yeah. in your family and yeah. whatnot. Cause it makes it a lot more yeah. enjoyable yeah. Yeah. in you my opinion. Relationship. Exactly, man, and um, I money. everybody eats. Everybody eats. So. Cool, well, let, let's let's check it out. Yeah. Well, what's the rehab look like on it? The rehab on this thing is like 30, What'd you gotta do to it? Hold up. What you, what'd you have to do this? We had to literally gut this whole place, bring it down to the studs, you know, put in put a new floor. It was literally a gut job. It was a, good it was job. a full gut job, yeah. For thirty thousand? For thirty, thirty five thousand, yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah. So so yeah, man, this is it. We brought in new cabinets not too long ago. It was a three bedroom, one bath. We converted into a four bedroom, two bath. Just by framing or did you, yeah. have, did you just frame it or? 
Well, you, 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 you made it bigger or no? You did no, additions? No, no additions, man. We literally just opened it all up. Um, I know we had we had a wall right here. We had a big wall right here. So we opened all of this and um, and installed another bathroom. Uh, a bathroom, a Jack and Jill bathroom through here. So it's like a Jack and Jill. So we, made, we just made a bathroom right here. Now we have a bathroom on the other side. And uh, turned it into a four. Uh, a three. A three two, I mean, not a four two, my bad. So that, that just goes to show, that's the whole point of this show. So just, just to show you that, uh, you know, that it really is possible to do this. Cause like my man was saying earlier, he started when he was 18. He's only 24 right now. All right. So this is very possible. It took him six months to get your first deal. Eight months. Eight months to get your first deal. And how long were you taking it? Nine. Nine months, bro. Could you do that? And that's because you don't have no systems, no marketing in place. I didn't have nothing in place, dude. So like, um, that's why it's good to invest in your education. If you're gonna learn, if you're if you're gonna want to stay in this business and actually scale it to, you know, a good level, you know, at least a, at least at least a hundred thousand dollars a year, you're gonna have to put some systems in place and and invest in your education. You know, that's the only way that you're gonna be able to to actually grow it, grow it, and not have a high paying job, but actually be a business owner. You know, so right, so, what it is. Yeah, man. So I hope y'all got a whole bunch of gold nuggets. All in all, at the end of the day, man, what we're trying to show you is it's really possible out here to do this. And all it takes is hard work, determination, and persistence. Persistence being the biggest part. Yes, sir. Because you can imagine trying to get a deal for eight months, not get or getting your one, and then waiting another nine, and you're like, man, this ain't gonna work. But he kept going, and my man's got three deals in one day with some persistence. It's light. So, uh, yeah, man, light. so we're gonna go catch a steak and uh, enjoy the rest of the time so i hope y'all enjoyed this and if y'all did subscribe go follow my boy on twitter it's wilney gafaro w-i-l-l-n-y gafaro g-u-i-f-a-r-r-o one they can reach out to you yes sir reach All out right. to me if you have any any real estate needs or if you need any help on a deal you know just let me know do me a favor and go to the youtube I, my instagram j.r.hernandez88 uh youtube jr hernandez and my Facebook, JR Hernandez, and just subscribe, follow, leave some comments, leave some likes, and that way we can bring out more videos like this, all right? So y'all stay clutch.